So are there, so are there any more lines on the deep sea metro to unlock? No, no, this is all of them. Wow. So we're yeah. we're coming along then. Yeah, we're pretty close to the end here. Uh, Neat. This is Mysterious Gamer X. That's Captain Emoji. Uh, this is Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion. Break it down. Match Master Station. Match. Match. Matchmaker uh, Station. Yeah. It's another one of those ones where you have to be careful not to blow up the wrong boxes. Yes, it is. Which means I am taking the squeezer. You're gonna go like that. Nice. That's a heck of a shape. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's art. Mm. Is what that is. Okay, looks like I just need to blow up the orange boxes. I think so. Uh, I do like that you can rotate them around, though. Uh, yeah. That's cool. So that you can, you know, get a better look at your handiwork. Was the squeezer the recommended one? I believe so. It was the one on the far left. That's usually the recommended one, right? Yeah. That seems to be the... I was just thinking, uh, you're almost at the limit of your uh, range down there, but I wouldn't want to have a stronger caliber weapon necessarily just because you might go through more than one box. Yeah, that would be bad. I think the guy at AGDQ did this with a rapid blaster. I mean, probably. I'm I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's a a, a way to do this very quickly if uh, you practice at it. But seeing as how it's our first time ever seeing this stage or uh, trying to replicate this shape, I'm with you. So instead, he wins the race. <laughs> I mean. It may not be the most exciting stage we've ever done, but, uh... Yeah, like Marina said, go easy on the trigger, try to break just a couple of crates at a time. No need to... Not a race. No yeah. No time limit. No need to mess it up right now, like, after getting so much right. <laughs> uh, I did see a grapple point off to the left there. I assume that's how you're going to get on top of it to finish this off. Presumably. I mean, no need to get up there until you're done with what you're doing, I suppose. The cat has decided to join me to help out. Yeah. So that's fun. Cheering you on. Like, seriously, that's very cool. That's why you went with the lower caliber weapon, I guess. So that you could do that without it being an instant failure. Honestly, I think you might be ready to... to head up there. Yeah. So, with all these, like, fun 80s and 90s references, uh, is there anything you haven't seen that you're hoping for? Like, are you hoping for, like, I don't know, a Ninja Turtle reference, or...? I've got a hard time believing we didn't get one already. I mean, I haven't seen one, but, uh, I'd have to go through all the stage names again, I guess. 
Oh, we can do that when we're tagging our 100% run. That's true. Okay, but seriously, how do I hit one of these uh, grapple points? Um, you might oh, have to throw is. a bomb. I was going to say, you might have to throw a bomb at them. No uh, bombs. As long as you hit it square on, uh, it'll be fine. No, I mean, you don't have any bombs. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, you don't? Huh. I wonder what the key went to. But yeah, uh, I mean, you know, tell us in the comments what what 90s or 80s reference do you think they totally missed that they should have had in uh, in the game. Because okay. I'm I'm honestly impressed at the uh, the sheer volume of uh, of references, and that's just the ones I'm like immediately getting. I'm just curious uh, how much of them are localizations and how much of them are... Same. I have to assume that at least some of these had to have been localized. Because I'm sure that there's a lot of quintessential 80s and 90s stuff that is very unique to Japan that uh, had to be changed over to some equivalent here. But, I mean, I'm sure some of it Sorry, I immediately stopped talking when I saw some ink on, like, a different box. I was like, huh. Ah, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna grab this key, see what it does. Hey, checkpoint. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was worried about that, too. Okay. But yeah, no, I'd, I'd love to see uh, translated station names for the Japanese version of the game. Just to see uh, what kind of fun references they got. I'm with you, Pearl. I am glad they're a different color. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh god, if I had to do this by sight? Right. It would be, be the hardest stage in the game. We'd be we'd be scrutinizing that other sculpture for yeah. just days and wondering if, uh, if that's a shadow or yeah. <laughs> Although I do notice that the uh, the boxes that they chose for. Uh, for this are some of the more fragile ones. Yeah. But no, they've had a they've had a pretty good uh, run of 80s slash 90s pop cultural stuff. I mean, uh, they had Top Gun the, like, most purchased VHS tape. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, just more obscure and, and weird from there. Has there been a Star Wars reference? I'd be shocked if there weren't. I was going to say, there has to be. I mean, honestly, there probably is in the Japanese version, too. Like, that's one of those things that I feel they probably didn't have to localize. <laughs> Ooh, glad I made that second shot. Oh, yeah. But yeah, like, you know, did Japan get, like, a, a Star Blazers reference or something like that? Hey, whew, okay. Now I just have to not hit any buttons until I get off of here. <laughs> okay. 
I do love that we still have to worry about a stray bullet, uh, <laughs> even at this late stage of the game, because yep. you're not there until you're uh, until you're on that platform. <laughs> It's usually just kind of a gimme, too. Like, I was about to say, how do you get up there? <laughs> did it already start to come apart? It did. Hey, alright. Tedious. And now we never have to do it again. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a bit. But you did it. It's but done. You did it. Hey, a new chat log. I had one of those in a while. That's your reward for making it through that. Mm. My name is Cuttlefish, but I don't cuddle with fish. My only wish is for a delicious dish. Okay. <laughs> Maybe stick that one back in the oven, Cap. <laughs> don't try don't fr don't try freestyling while hungry, I guess. That's fair. He doesn't see genre. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Right, Quill was in a metal band. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> uh, first distance of swearing in Splatoon. Yeah. <laughs> MC Prince is dropping bombs. Yeah, no, that was... <laughs> the speakers exploded. <laughs> Hmm. I want to know where their like long forgotten band camp is now, you know? Or their yeah. sound where's their SoundCloud? No kidding. Their fourth single was a hit. Ah. It's cute. That is very cute. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, so they outgrew Inkopolis News is the is the the narrative. Oh uh, yeah, right? I mean, MTV News isn't really done by the big names. Sure, but hey, they got an offer to shoot a commercial as soon as uh, Pearl can ride without training wheels. <laughs> Whatever, Dad. Cool your jet station. Defeat the boss. Who's dad? I'm sure it's another reference. I have an inkjet, so that's a thing. Cool your jet station. Is this another one of those ones where you have to, like, fly yeah. very carefully? Oh, and you have to defeat a boss? Yeah. I think it's the, uh... Yeah, it is. I'll fight the shower cap. Oh. Alright. Oh, 
fresh heck is a sanitized version of this guy going to bring me? Now with antibacterial cleaning power. <laughs> guys on the flies in the back. Oh, yeah. Everything's moving. You're moving. They're moving. Yeah, none of this is Everybody's good. moving. on the fly. Aha! Gotcha! Take that! Nice! Jerk. How are they powering these things without Zapfish? Oh, he's got an evil rubber ducky. Maybe... Oh! Maybe, maybe whatever the sanitation process does uh, powers them? I mean, it must. Okay, his zinc showers fast. <laughs> You're doing good. Doing all right, yeah. down. Ah! Oh, oh, take that. Got him. I do like the rubber duck. That's a nice touch. <laughs> okay. Now we got these dodgy little pricks. I will say this is another boss that actually looks pretty good in the, uh, the sanitized scheme. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it does make them look clean. Like, <laughs> Ouch. it does actually make them look like they have, you know, additional cleaning power. Uh, honestly, like, their color scheme kind of reminds me of, like, the cleaner simple green. <laughs> I do like how much of a struggle it is uh, when there's only one left. Like, the one that's left looks so... It's you like, can't dodge oh, no. roll when you're... You can't dodge roll when you're attacking, jerk. That fight went really good. It did. I'm surprised. Was... Especially after fighting him so much in Octo Canyon, trying to do it with like chargers and right brushes and stuff. Oh, I want that shirt. Uh, it says uh, Ika or Squid. Ah. Um, and they actually made that shirt, and it was available here in the states. But I think it capped out at like a size like large. Probably. One series off from the whole collection. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got ourselves a and cake here. Let's say I think we have two of them. But yeah, yeah that white tea. 
It's more for squids or little kid. Bland shirt. Okay. It does yeah. just say squid on it. Tank top. Also, as an octoling, I don't know if you'd be super into a shirt that says squid. Mm, that's fair. <laughs> The MC Princess joined. Oh, neat. So. There's a bunch of octons just hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's fun. So, yeah, they must have been filtering in through other routes. I'm just glad that somebody explained to... Uh to Pearl what was going on and that what isn't just a hairstyle fad. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Craig's freaking out, sure. Some of them are already working for Grisco and Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. We're all bonding over our love of sport violence. Yep. <laughs> Well, next time on Endless Mode, we're going to see what we get from Isopadre and then make our way toward the last thing. Yeah. Nothing bad will happen and everything will be great. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we'll catch you later.